Hey guys, welcome to our first video. I am Kaylee, I am the big sister. I'm Emily, I'm the little sister. And we are the Mediocre Sisters. Today, we are going to be bringing you a favorites video. So what we did is we went through and picked about 10 categories and we each picked our favorite topics from that category and we are going to share them with you and with each other for the first time. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so our first category we're gonna do is gonna be hair products. Also, everything that we show you will be linked um, below. Okay. In the favorite hair product. Favorite hair product, ready? Three, two, one, <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, you go first. Okay, um, so my favorite hair product that I have been using for just under a year now is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I love this product. I have very thin hair. Um, I have dry hair. Um, and I have found that this product has really helped to strengthen my hair and also help, um, with heat styling and just adding more moisture to my hair. Okay. So mine is the strong, sexy hair, aloe vera and mango butter, um, spray. I just do a few pumps. I really like it because when my hair dries, it's silky and it feels pretty hydrated. Whereas like Kaylee, I have very thin hair and um, pretty dry ends. I get my hair colored a lot. And so it just really helps when it's dry. She's not a natural blonde. No, <laughs> I'm naturally that. <laughs> um, anyways, but yeah, it makes my hair super hydrated and super silky, shiny. Um, my hair tangles really easily. So it's really helpful with that too. It doesn't get snarly all the time. All right. All right. Okay. On to the next category. So sticking with hair, our next category is a styling product for our hair. Um, ready? Yeah, you want me to go first? Okay, yeah. Okay, so for mine, I actually don't style my hair that often. I don't really like to apply heat to it. Um, lately I have been because it just makes it look more full. But when I do style it, I use this Tresemme Texture Spray. Um, it smells amazing, it makes your hair pretty voluminous and it stays that way throughout the whole day, which I really like. And it makes me so I don't have to use hairspray and I don't like hairspray because it kind of makes your hair crunchy. So my hair stays the natural softness, but it stays very full the whole day. Okay, so this is why this video is really cool. Um, I also picked a texturizing spray, um, but mine is by the brand Pantene and mine is a texturing hairspray um, all in one. And similar to what Emily said, I like to use a texture spray because I have really thin hair. And so this helps to give me more volume when I do style my hair. Um, and additionally, I also don't really like hairspray. I don't like my hair is like crunchy um, or hard. So this helps with that. It gives you a little bit of a softer hold than a typical hairspray does. Nice. All right, number three. <laughs> We're gonna do our favorite self tanner. All right, we might as well just not so say uh just as a note i am a self-tanning um not expert but i have tried every self-tanner known to man i am pretty sure so um my favorite self-tanner of all the self-tanners i have ever tried is the <laughs> And we picked the same one. Um, I don't use self-tanner that much, so this is my favorite one, though. Kaylee got me on this one. Yes. So my safe, favorite self-tanner is the Loving Tan um, in dark. I have used the Ultra Dark as well. The other thing, I actually really like their 2-Hour Express Mousse. Um, so in these times of quarantine, I have been working from home, and so... What I will do is I will put this on in the morning and then over lunch, I will shower it off because I do not like the smell. And this doesn't smell that bad, but I don't like having the, like the stickiness on my skin. So I put it on in the morning, I wear it in the morning and then I shower it off over lunch and it works perfectly. And then mine's actually the 24 hour mousse. And so I put it on before bed, wherever I want it to. And then I sleep in it and wake up in the morning and shower it off. Um, I haven't found, it doesn't really transition on my sheets at all. Um, it doesn't smell amazing, I would say, but it's definitely not awful. And um, my skin <laughs> doesn't feel that sticky um, throughout the night because you're sleeping. You don't really notice it. All right. So now we'll transition from kind of those like miscellaneous items of hair and self-tan 
on to skincare. So skincare is like a huge topic. Um, obviously there's a wide variety of things we can choose from. So uh, we most likely picked very different products. So you wanna start? Sure. Okay. okay. So my skincare product that I picked is the A plus high dose retinoid serum by Sunday Riley. Um, I really like it because I feel like most retinoid serums that I've tried feel kind of harsh on my skin and leave it super dry and I can't really use them that often. This I actually use every single day. Um, I don't know if that's recommended or not, but I use it every single Not morning advice. and I really like that it evens out my skin tone. I do have quite a bit of exposure to the sun and so it helps kind of smooth out my skin. I'm just being honest. Um, I don't recommend it. Anyways, um, and so I really like it. It's really lightweight, really smooth. It glides on. You need barely any and I do see improvements in my skin throughout the day. I have very acne prone skin and oily skin. And so I realized it doesn't make me flare up at all. It doesn't cause my skin to be more oily. Um, it just kind of evens out the skin tone. So I really loved this product. Okay, my skincare product that I picked is from my favorite skincare brand um, at the moment, which is um, Tula. This is their Tula Rose Glow and Get It Eye Balm. So my skin under my eyes is super dry, um, especially in the winter. We live in the state of Minnesota, and so it is cold and it is dry here uh, this time of year. And so I really like this under my eyes. It gives me a lot of glow. I, Emily and I are very different. I do not wear that much makeup. So typically on a day to day, I put on this, I put on moisturizer and that's how I go about my day. Um, and so I like that this gives you, it like brightens up your under eyes, gives you a glow, makes you look more awake. Um, so I've really been liking this Tula balm. All right. Our next thing that we're going to do goes in with skincare, kind of. It's our favorite serum. So we just kind of said you can pick any sort of serum you want, whether it's like under your makeup or it's body or it's face. So, okay. So I will start. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> So my favorite serum that I've been using lately is the Dime Beauty Eyelash Boost Serum. So recently, about, I don't know, a month ago, we went in and got our eyelashes um, curled. Lifted. What did you call it? Lifted. <laughs> we went in and got our eyelashes lifted um, because with quarantine, again, you're not wearing that much makeup. And so we wanted our eyelashes to be a little bit more curled um, naturally without any product on. So when I did that, I started using this Dime Beauty Lash Serum and I can see a difference in the length. I don't know if you can see, but um, in the length of my lashes um, and just almost like my lash strength, they, they're just, they're a lot healthier than they were prior to using this. So I really liked this serum. All right, now my serum helps with my problem. <laughs> um, it's the UFO Acne Treatment Face Oil. So I guess technically it's not called a serum, but it has really helped. Um, oh gosh, this is really bright. Um, yeah, so the UFO, Sunday Riley makes it also, same with my retinoid cream, but I really like it. Um, I've only been using it for a couple weeks and I have noticed just a difference in my texture. I would say that my skin is more smooth than it has been. Normally I get texture kind of like around my nose um, and that's been pretty good. For us, for it has been good and it's kind of just like cleared up when I do go through a really bad breakout, it clears it up um, faster than normal. So I've really enjoyed this. <laughs> All right, <laughs> our next one is gonna be primer. So we're gonna kind of shift now starting into our makeup. We kind of just like went from like morning routine to makeup routine. Not that Kelly has much of one. <laughs> I put on a lot of makeup <laughs> most days, but okay. So we're gonna do primers. Okay. Um, I'm digging in this bag like there's a lot in here, but there's like nothing in here. Um, so my favorite primer is again by Tula, and it is the Tula Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. Again, my skin is very dry, and so I need a primer that's going to be moisturizing and not mattifying. Uh, mattifying primers just don't do well on my skin because like I say, it's so dry. I start to like see really dry spots on my forehead and under my eyes. So I love that this is a moisturizing primer. Um, like we've said several times, I do not wear that much makeup, uh, but I do often put this on in conjunction with this 
um, with a little bit of blush and I call it a day. <laughs> so love this, love this. All right, so my primer, I kind of have two, I guess, because they go different parts of my face. But the one I use all over my face is the Yenza Color and Face Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Um, I really like it. It has like a little bit of a tint to it. So when I put it on, it kind of takes the red spots on my face and makes them less noticeable and just makes everything smooth, um, which is really helpful. I have also tried the Tula primer and I really like it. However, this covers up my redness more before even putting any makeup on than that one does. And then what I use under my eyes is the Oxygen Glow um, by Florja. And I just put a tiny bit on my finger and dab it under my eyes and I really notice just like a brightness. If I have any dark circles at all, it kind of just like tones down that puffiness and really makes them bright again before I even put any makeup on. So that's super nice. Um, now moving into a foundation product. So I will say I used to wear foundation, like liquid foundation on my face, but I haven't done that in a really long time. So I typically resort to a CC cream type foundation or a powder foundation, which is what I'm gonna show you today. So my favorite foundation currently is the Bare Minerals, just their original formula um, of powder foundation. I really love the finish this gives to my skin. It um, is super lightweight. It feels like I have nothing on my skin. It doesn't transfer onto like my face mask. Um, which I really appreciate. I It's a little bit messy working with a loose powder as opposed to like a compact powder, but this is a product that I've really been liking, um, especially during quarantine. Color. Um, and I'm super pale and mine is in <laughs> fairly light. <laughs> All right, so my foundation is um, opposite. I really like liquid foundations, um, but I used to wear ones that really clogged my pores and were just super thick because I wanted to have a really full coverage foundation, which um, is a good thing, but it's really bad for your skin. So I switched over to more of a clean um, foundation and it's the Pacifica, a light clean foundation. It's 100% vegan. Um, my color is cool medium, but I sometimes mix it with a light depending on how tangent I am. Um, I really like it because it's super lightweight. I use half a pump um, on my brush for my entire face and it's actually super full coverage for a really clean and not thick at all foundation. Um, that's all I have on for my foundation right now. And then a little bit of a powder on top, but I really like how light it is and it doesn't cause my skin to break out at all. Um, yeah, I it has a satin finish. That's a, it's oil free. Um, so it does sometimes leave like a little bit of shine. It's not fully matte, but I also like a lot of glow. So I'm not that upset about it. Um, okay, moving on to bronzers. So I am not a foundation person, so I like my blush and my bronzers because I feel like it's something that you can just quickly like throw onto your face and you look more awake and you look more alive. Um, and so those are some of my favorite makeup products. And so I, my favorite bronzer is the Marc Jacobs um, bronzer. I think it's called their Omega bronze um, bronzer. It comes in this really large, um, beautiful packaging. Um, I This is not a cheap product by any means, but what I will say is I used to use the Physician's Formula um, Butter Bronzer, which is an awesome product. It's I used it for years. Um, I recently changed to this Marc Jacobs one and this is huge. This is 0.8 ounces in this Marc Jacobs bronzer. The Physician's Formula one is like 0.1 ounces, I think. So you're getting eight times the product in this for roughly four times the cost. Um, so as long as you're okay, you know, footing the bill up front, this will last you a very long time. Okay, my bronzer is same brand as my... Um, primer actually. It's the Yenza Sunlight Glow Silk Bronzing Base. Um, I recently switched to this, well I guess it's been a couple months now, but I absolutely love it. It is a cream rather than a powder, so it's super smooth. I just got this one, so it's brand new. Super satisfying. It's really oh. creamy and you just barely put the brush in it and like put it on and it's super, again, lightweight. And I noticed it doesn't rub off as much as some of my powders have. Um, 
if I hit my face at all and then my bronzer comes off and I don't really like that. And so I like kind of having a cream base. Again, also does not make me break out, which is really nice. So I do like that. Okay. All right, we're moving on to blush. We are cruising. We are cruising. Yeah, we thought this was for sure good. Well, this was gonna take us four hours to film. It took us four hours to um, took us four hours build up to the start, confidence to start, start the, the video. video. <laughs> uh, or blush. I'll start, because you start every time. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> my favorite blush has been the Kylie blushes. Now she has a ton of different shades. My favorite one is close to perfect. Um, it's just a very like neutral. It has like a little bit of brown, but a little bit of pink. Dab brush in it, barely pat it on your cheek. Um, and it's super nice. I love it. Lightweight, great color. And it's lasted me over a year for one, one little thing. Get it on Black Friday. Yeah, yeah. That's when I got it. Um, Okay, well, on the opposite spectrum of my Marc Jacobs bronzer, my favorite blush is actually by e.l.f. <laughs> um, so super affordable, and it's this looks like almost gone. I need to get a new one. But the e.l.f. blush, it's called Mellow Mauve, is the color I like it in. So I, for blush, like a more mauve um, colored blush. I just think it goes nicely with my skin tone. And this one has just been really great. I think... The color is pretty much perfect. Um, the formula is nothing special, but it stays on your face. It blends in nicely and it's really affordable. So, Okay, next we're going to do highlighter, which I absolutely love highlighter. Like I said, I love glowy, glowy face. You like okay, <laughs> so my favorite highlighter actually comes in the Nomad and Sydney Bathers. Hope I said that right. Um, no, kiss definitely of, not. <laughs> kiss of Sun palette. So there is one bronzer in here as well, um, which is a good bronzer. It's in this bottom corner, but I really like these three highlighters. Um, there's one that's more of like a pink, one that's more of like a really tan, and then one that's kind of like a neutrally gold, which is the one I use the most often. Um, the pink is really nice though. If you have like a really bright face, just put a little bit of you know bright face pink. if you're more pale yeah if you're more pale the pinks are better um i never really use the super dark one just because i feel like highlighter is meant to like brighten up your face and that's what bronzer is for and so unless you're going to use it for bronzer i don't know it's kind of dark for me but it's super beautiful so maybe i should try using more okay for me i also like to be a little bit glowy i think it makes you look healthier um if your skin has some shine to it so um my favorite highlight uh is actually a liquid highlighter and again I think this goes to just my beauty routine in general is super simple um and this is a product that I can just blend like mix with this primer and do it kind of at the same time so um this is the Anastasia liquid glow it's like a champagne-y kind of color um, and I have really enjoyed this product. It goes on really smooth. It doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky at all, um, after you have it on and it really gives you a nice shine without glitter. I think that's really an important thing for highlighter is to get a highlighter that gives you a, like a natural shine and not like, you know, like glitter, like you sprayed yourself in the face. Um, so really like this for highlighting. All right. Moving right along, cruising. Okay, uh, the next it will get into like our eye makeup. Um, my eye makeup routine is um, pretty okay. basic. So um, the next kind of couple categories are gonna be a mascara and then like some sort of eye makeup that we wear on a regular basis or that we've really been enjoying. So my favorite mascara I have ever tried and I am like not really a mascara person. Um, I like what it looks like, but I don't like wearing it because it's not very comfortable for me. But I have started using the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara, and this stuff is no joke. This is phenomenal mascara. It doesn't flake. It leaves your lashes looking so long, um, and it's it's just comfortable. Like it, it doesn't feel heavy. Um, it wears really well and it also is like a tube mascara they call it so when you wash it off it comes off in kind of like tubes I guess you could say um, off your lashes so like you don't come out of the shower looking like a raccoon because you have like mascara all over your face so 
This is phenomenal. I love wearing this. And then I will also wear for my um, eye makeup. I love this Tarte Fake Awake Liner. Um, it's, it's just like a twist up liner so you don't have to sharpen it, which is really nice. And I put this on my lower lash line. Whoa. Um, I put this on my lower lash line with some of this mascara and I just feel like my eyes look really awake. They look like I put in some energy to doing my makeup when really it was super simple and straightforward. So. I have mascara guys because I've never seen my sister's eyelashes show on camera so and look at that. Yeah, look at this. That's crazy. You can't see mine. I have baby lashes and I have eyeliner on. Okay, so anyways, my favorite mascara to date is the Surfer Curl um, Tarte C Mascara. I, yikes, um, I really like how light it is. And like Kayla said, I don't really like wearing mascara because A, I hate when it flakes off and gets in my contact, whatever. Um, but this is super natural looking. It doesn't make your eyelashes clump together at all. I literally just do a few strokes. Um, after that lash lift also was super beneficial because you literally do like, whoop, like a couple and then it looks super natural. You don't even really know that you're wearing mascara, which is what I really like. I also, while I do love a waterproof mascara that doesn't come off when I cry or when I swim, whatever, I hate taking it off and it pulls my eyelashes out. So I actually really like this, that this isn't waterproof. You just gotta suck it up and not cry for the day. All right, and then my eye product, like makeup, is actually the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Eyeshadow Palette. I absolutely love it, it is gorgeous. Um, I recently tried wearing like the reds more, um, which actually I surprised myself and really liked. I never used to do bold eyeshadow, but I really like it. It is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a lot with shimmer in them, which I use on the inside, the inside eye, and then the darker one on the outside. Um, I don't know if you can see mine. I'm not a professional, guys, but I do really like it. Mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> at best <laughs> <laughs> the final thing that we will talk about is a lip product so again i don't really wear a lot of lip products um i'm a big chapstick per ch chapstick. <laughs> chapstick person um i lick my lips and i bite my lips when i get nervous and so wearing lipstick just has never been something that's comfortable for me to do um but i will say emily gave me this last thanksgiving time um, and I desperately need another one. This one's like gone, but it is the Buxom full on plumping lip, um, polish in, um, Sophia. And it is perfect for those of you who don't like to wear a lot of lipstick. Um, this is a really great product. It's a really pretty color. It's natural. Um, and it gives your lips like a little bit of a shine. It has like plumping in them. Um, so it's been really good and I definitely need to get a full size one. <laughs> Not she one got my one little one. like duo one that came in my Black Friday box that I got for it. So but this is to show I'm you super how, much, <laughs> how much I wear. Yeah. She gave me a sample. That's a nice wear. Um, it goes to show you how much I actually wear makeup like this last me entire year. <laughs> All right. So for me, I have actually this past year. I really struggled with my lips. Um, I was reacting to, I'm pretty sure the toothpaste that I was using. Um, and so I was like getting like really weird reactions on my lips and on my skin. And at the same time, they were super dry also. And so they were just like, I was lathering chapstick on. Guys, I kid you not, probably every five minutes, I would like just be coating my whole face basically. Fun fact, in chapstick. now she uses nipple cream. That was my, her. That was oh, so I, um, I got off of chapstick actually. I was reading up on it and found that you can become like addicted to it in a sense and it um, portrays like a false sense of a skin barrier around your lips and on your lips and that's why mine was just like craving that moisture and so I for two weeks didn't put anything on my lips. Um, it was super awful. I looked like I got Botox because like I couldn't smile otherwise my mouth would crack um, and I just kind of waited for my dead skin to peel off which is really gross but... <laughs> totally. But I have not struggled with chapped lips since that happened. Um, and so I actually, like Kelly said, I'm using the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm. Um, <laughs> so if you guys don't want to use chapstick, this is awesome. I put it on one time in the morning and then I have like a lip mask I put on before bed. But I literally put it on like once or twice a day and my lips are fine the rest of the day. Um, also, if I want a little bit of color, 
I use the Maybelline Superstay ink crayon. Um, this has a little like sharpener on the bottom and it's just a screw up. This color is Lead the Way. Um, so I just put this on and then I let it dry for a little bit and I'll put my uh, nipple cream <laughs> on top of it. And I have not had any problems with my lips lately and I absolutely love it, which is super awesome for winter in Minnesota. <laughs> All right, um, that is all we had in our makeup bags for our kind of favorite, we have the same We have bags. identical makeup bags. Two very different same people, shoot. same makeup bag. <laughs> um, so we hope that this video kind of helped as an introduction to us, like we've said throughout the video, we are different, we use different products, we have different skin. I do not have acne prone skin. Emily does have acne prone skin. Um, we have similar hair. Mine's slightly thicker. <laughs> Um, but we are also like, we have different body types. Um, I am like 5'10", she is like 4 five. nothing. <laughs> I'm 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> so we, and we're also at different spots in our life. I just recently got married. Um, I'm, I'm not married. She, I have a boyfriend in Oklahoma. Yeah. But. Um, but she recently graduated college. So the goal of this channel is to, um, get on here and kind of give different perspectives but we also want to give the perspective of like your everyday person and that's why we have the name mediocre sisters not as a bad thing but just because we are not experts on any of the things we're going to talk about we're only going to talk about them from our experience and how we use them and things that have worked well for us things that none of don't this is sponsored well. <laughs> and nothing is sponsored posting content about um beauty lifestyle tech we're not super techie but like i love technology i recently bought a house and so we've been doing a lot of renovations around the house so if that's something that you guys would want to see kind of what we're doing um how we do it we're doing it on a budget so <laughs> I um, supervise. And <laughs> I'm really not a um, home edit person. Well, okay, I love home edits. I love watching them, and I um, love all that stuff. The home edit the home is edit. my favorite. Um, <laughs> but I am not super. Uh, I don't like sanding. I don't like painting. Yes. So we are doing all the renovations by ourselves. So uh, if that's something that is of interest to people, let us know. And I can definitely start filming some of that content for you guys. Um, the other thing is we are going to be posting next week, a cooking video, um, oh which we are not cooks at all, <laughs> like at all, but we figured it would kind of be fun to cook some Thanksgiving type dishes. So we are going to be making a Thanksgiving margarita and we are going to be making a Thanksgiving type appetizer that you could bring um, if you are a guest to a Thanksgiving. Guys, you have, you gotta yeah. check it out because the name is fantastic. Yes. It was my choice. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Um, more to come. Follow us on Instagram, mediocre underscore sisters for more content. We just started, so we're building it up and we'd love for you guys to start um with us from the beginning anything else <laughs> <sighs> she uses all my words most of the time um <laughs> honestly, like one of the biggest things like i said is that we want to get across that one product is not going to work for every single person i don't know how many times i've like went up to look up product reviews and i feel like it's just really hard to know like one person could like love this product but they could have completely different skin and hair and lifestyle than me and so I think this will give really good perspective because like Kelly said we are so different um down to our styles I mean we're, we're kind of the same right <laughs> even now. though we're dressed, the, even same we're dressed today, the same right now but um I get up most mornings and I put on like a nice outfit and makeup and I like do that and Kaylee's more get up put on active wear and like do a really good skincare routine and then um go about her day and so we are pretty different in that sense all right that's that's it. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. <laughs>